South Africa is one of the biggest emitters of CO2 from coal in the world on a per capita basis. At the center of the pollution is state-owned utility ESCOM. ESCOM's fleet of 15 power stations make up the backbone of its generation capacity, but neglected maintenance has contributed to liability issues that limit electricity supply, resulting in nationwide power cuts. That means amid a global effort to end the use of coal power, South Africa is struggling to keep it running. The station manager explained that he's trying to bring Tutuka back to at least 70% energy availability. It's about a third right now of its overall capacity, but it, there's a lot of cleaning up to do. While new plants not fully completed are already impaired by defects, the 3,600 megawatt Tutuka station is ESCOM's worst performer after years of severe mismanagement. The stations have been built near South Africa's abundant coal mines. Conveyor belts shuttle the fuel straight to the plant where it's crushed and burned in boilers that make steam. That goes into turbines that power the generators. South Africa is a growing destination for green funding to help the country transition from coal to cleaner sources, including renewables. South Africa will need stations like this to operate in an optimal way for quite a while before they'll be able to replace it with cleaner sources of energy. It's just the reality of South Africa's energy mix at this time. The UK and US, along with other developed nations, recently agreed on $8.5 billion in financing toward the effort at the COP26 climate meeting. Currently, depending on coal for more than 80% of its power, ESCOM has plans to retire about a third of its coal-fired capacity by 2030. Thank you.